Hi everyone, I'm Mark from Escape the Clouds and this is another Beats in a Bag video. I recently got an Akai MPC Live. It's a portable workstation. Um, it's pretty phenomenal. Runs on batteries, pretty compact form factor, uh, lots of connections. It's basically a studio in a box. It's been, I'm doing a lot of songwriting just using this machine. Um, but one of the things with it is that it, because it being so flat, you know, the screen is a little finicky to use sometimes. It's kind of kind of a weird angle on it, you know, because you're always looking at it like this. Uh, unlike its bigger brother, the MPC X, which has the big flip-up screen. So I've been kind of uh, finding out some different solutions for that, for different use, basically finding different stands that I can use with it. Uh, I found three different options that work pretty well depending on what you're doing. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at those options. The uh, first option is the one I've had the longest. It's a Griffin laptop stand. It's pretty basic, nothing fancy. Uh, it does angle the machine a little bit. It's got a bit of an angle here on the, on the upper shelf. And it helps with the screen visibility a bit. It does break down pretty compactly. Now, when you break it down like this, it looks, you know, looks kind of weird. I mean, it looks like it takes up a lot of room, but this is, this is all dead air in here, so you can put whatever you want. So, I put this in my laptop bag. I put my controller keyboards in there. You can stack these things inside of it, fits just fine. And I'll usually put the uh, laptop AC adapter and other cables on the other side of it. So it doesn't actually take up that much room at all, even though it's kind of a weird shape when you look at it like this. Uh, as far as assembly, you just slot it in. In theory. All right, there you go. Now, because it's a, it raises the machine, you have actually have a lot more, it basically doubles your, your desk real estate underneath it. So, everyone knows the, one of the things with the MPC Live, it, it does not have XLR inputs, so you need an external preamp for it. So, I personally, I use the um, TC Helicon Harmony GXT. It's a pedal effects processor, but I found it works great for the MPC Live. I might be doing some more videos using this machine later on, demonstrating how I use it. Um, but, you know, it's got the XLR input, two XLR outputs. What I'll do is, you know, put it underneath here. Put the MPC on top of it. Yeah, you know, did run all the cables and such back there. And slot the uh, controller keyboard directly underneath it. Is my you know, LPK25. Um, so it maximizes your 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 desk real estate. Works really well for that. Uh, it's really good for recording because, like I said, you have all your effects and stuff. Your preamp can go right there. Really convenient. And it doesn't run a lot of long cables or anything. Um, one of the things with it though, of definitely con, is the when you're trying to you know, play beats into it, it is kind of springy. So you, it might affect your velocity. It's definitely kind of bang. You can hear like the banging sound. You know, so it's not great for beat making. However, for composing with the controller keyboards, for recording audio tracks into the machine, for sample editing, for recording samples and all that, it's it's pretty good. I, I use it a lot for that. All right, let's go on to the next stand. Now, there, there are tons of options like the one I just showed you, you know, laptop stands that elevate things. Um, you know, that are designed for equipment like the MPC and laptops and such. Um, but sometimes it's good to think outside the box a bit and see what you can find. Um, and that's what I did one, one day. My wife and I, we were at, at Ross, walking through there, just shopping, whatever. And I came across this drawing set. Now, it was 20 bucks and it has all these things, including, you know, pencils, charcoal, all that stuff. The great artist set, case for it, all that. But the coolest part of it was this. It, br it brings an easel. And I looked at this and I said, oh, that's great for drawing, but I know I can use, a lot, use it for a lot of different things. And that's what I did. Here's the easel. You see it folds down very compactly. And when you latch the uh, wire in place, you have yourself a pretty darn perfect MPC stand. I mean, you could not, you know, ask for even better fit. I mean, look at this. The rubber feet fit perfectly on the on the back of this thing. It's awesome. It has a screen at a phenomenal angle here. It's really easy to use. Um, of all the stands, actually, this is one I tend to use the most. It's great for recording audio, for sample editing. You have all the connections are easily accessible up here. So you don't have to bend over, you know, get behind it. It's all right here. Just plug it all in. You have lots of space back here. 
And lots of room back here so you can put all your effects systems, you can put your um, either preamps, whatever, whatever you're using with the MPC, you can put it back there. Actually has room underneath here so you can put a pretty tall controller keyboard underneath here as well. So it's like this awesome little workstation. As far as making beats goes, um, it does respond pretty well. You know, it's not like the not like the Griffin one where you know it would bounce and all that stuff. It just you know it's it's pretty solid. It does slide a little bit. I mean, you can probably remedy that with you know some uh, some better rubber feet or something like that. But I mean, I I have not encountered any real issues with it. It works fine for me. You just got to put something maybe behind it to weigh it down, keep it from sliding back. Um, but yeah, I mean, for twenty bucks, I mean, the easel by itself would have been worth the twenty bucks. But you know, it brings. This entire kit, I mean, you know, if you're an artist, I love to draw and all that, and my daughter loves to draw. This is great. You know, I mean, you can't beat the value. The, uh, the Griffin one was about 30, I think I paid 40 bucks for it at an Apple store. Um, but you can usually find them for 30, 35 bucks. Um, $20? And it brings a, draw a drawing set? You can't beat it. All right, let's move on to the next and final one. All right, the last stand is the biggest and the most expensive. This is a Gibraltar electronic drum mount station. Uh, as you can see in the bottom is basically a standard symbol tripod stand, very sturdy, very heavy. And the top of it has these two, these two armors mounted on it. They're fully adjustable. Uh, basically you just turn these knobs down here and you loosen them up and you can adjust the angle however you want. I'm not going to do it because I like the angle it's at right now, but uh, you can do it. Um, up here on top of the arms, you have these little knobs you can adjust for spacing to lock in whatever gear you're putting on it. So you can just you know, loosen it, slide it, put it wherever you want. Uh, it's also height adjustable as well. So I mean, it's it's a good stand. I mean, I've I've gotten a lot of use out of it, um, especially here in the studio. Like I usually have it sitting in that corner over there. Uh, so it frees up my desk space. You know, I can now even be working on my MPC and have all this desk space free. As far as how the MPC itself sits on it, like it's, it's pretty much perfect. Um, the MPC itself is six pounds, so it's pretty sturdy. It takes a lot to move it. Um, if I was going to use this in a stage setting, I'd definitely want to bungee it down or something like that to secure it. But in a studio setting, the, the weight of it is fine. It's not going to move very far. Uh, things that I've done. Uh, first of all, I put these little like hair ties, like, like that my wife uses, around the, the knobs here, so it doesn't slide. If, sorry, it doesn't uh, scuff the finish on the MPC. I mean, the rubber's a little bit hard, so I just just being paranoid about it. Um, I've also added, if you can see here, these little Velcro pads on the on the tips of the um, of the arms. So what I did. My LPK25, I put some Velcro strips on the front end of it. So just really small, it doesn't affect the playability, nothing like that. And now the thing sits there perfectly, it doesn't move. I mean, you got, I mean, I'm pulling pretty hard on this, it ain't coming off. Um, I mean, weight wise, you know, this, this stand doesn't move for anything. Um, as far as playing, playing in beats, it's perfect. It's rock solid, doesn't shake, doesn't shimmy, nothing. It's, it's, it's good. And what I like about the two, like I said, you know, I've already added on the keyboard on the front here. It's still got a lot of capability. You can add, you can add new things to it. So like on the back, for instance, you've got this big, thick bar here. You can clamp other things onto it. I put together this RAM mount set. I bought all the parts off Amazon, put it together. It's got a big clamp on it. So I clamp that onto that onto that arm, to that big arm there. And see on the top here, I've got these different these little these little pads up here. Um, get a better shot of that. You can see it. This here and this here, each has Velcro on it. This is something I pre-printed and just fold it on there. What you can do now is you can add some compact synthesizers to this thing. So like I can put my uh, Volca Beats up there, my Volca Keys up here, and uh, yeah, make sure it settle, settles onto the knob there so it doesn't slide down. 
Um, but yeah, so I have my entire synthesizer workstation up here. Obviously, you can put other small compacts in stuff here, whatever you want, you know. You know each of these have Velcro on the bottom of it so they don't fall off. Um, and you can wire them easily into the back here. You know, you still have, you know, you have easy access to all your connections back here as well. I mean, it's, this is a great stand. It's, you know, cost-wise, it's about 106 to 110 bucks, something like that currently. Um, but it's, it's really great. Uh, especially you know, for studio or stage, it's, it's a good, it's a good system. It is definitely the heaviest, definitely the most expensive, and all that. But it is by far the sturdiest of them all. Um, the only problem with it is that it, because it's so big and sturdy, it's not easy to travel with it. You know, you can't just chuck this into your laptop bag. Unlike the, like the easel stand that I was showing earlier, that you can put it in a bag and take with you and just pop it up, whatever you want. Put it in a suitcase, your backpack, a tablet bag, whatever. This it, you, know, you got to think about taking this with you. But it is a good stand, and I've gotten a lot of use out of it as well. I usually have it sitting back there in that corner. Um, just do that real quick. And you can see the MPC is sitting over there. All this real estate's not taken up by electronics. You know, I have it, the MPC is on its own over there, so I can go over there, work on it, roll over there, do my thing, come back here, work on the on the on the doll over here on my computer, go back to that. And it's all well positioned, and really convenient. I mean, you can just you want, you want it somewhere else, you just pick it up and move the whole thing. I mean, it's all one unit. Uh, very convenient. So there you go. That's the, the third of the three options I've got there. I've posted links to all of these items in the description below. You can check them out for yourself. And if you have any questions, please fire away in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you did. I plan on making more videos like this, talking about music production, using the MPC Live, and other parts of my rig. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care.